Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. I'm so happy to have you join me here. For those of you that are new, I'm a professional intuitive empath. That's my gig, that's what I do. And today we're gonna get right into the video. We're gonna get crystal clear with Aragonite or Aragonite, okay? This little blue gem came into my life about a year ago about a year ago okay this little blue gem came into my life and what i love about it is that it is incredibly calming i find myself using it for when i am meditating and needing to de-stress and needing to kind of bring my energy down now <clears throat> i'm also attracted to it because of a video that i have coming up in which i will be discussing all of my favorite blue stones so i will talk about why i'm attracted to them how i've connected to a star group that helps me to understand where exactly i might uh, have spent some time many many lifetimes ago as well as understanding my attraction to crystal clear water so stay tuned for that we're going to solve a mystery here but when you're dealing with this aragonite stone it's the stone of hope okay so this came into my life in a time when i did not have hope i am attracted to my stones usually by being able to go to a gem show which is something that i have fingers crossed planned, you know, COVID was standing coming up. So I hope that I get to bring you some footage when that happens, if it happens. <laughs> but uh, guys, pray for me on that one. But what, I, what I've what i had to do is find really good resources online, considering that metaphysical shows, gem shows, and various things like that are no longer existing in the capacity and that we can't just kind of peruse those like we used to. I would suggest when picking out your stones, you want to feel their energy or at least be attracted to the color, have a gravitational pull at least to the color. So this is a soothing comment and re-energizing stone it's relaxing it boosts empathy it boosts patience it boosts emotional stability balance and feminine energies so this helped me to calm down but also to get in touch with my nurturing side in a moment in my life where i found that i really needed to access that this helps to slow down those who push themselves too hard and to be honest with you when i read that attribute i thought oh this stone's for me i can be very overachieving and very much workaholic -y when i am working and so i i got this to calm me down someone brought it to my attention that i was working a great deal in and I thought maybe there's some credence to that. I always, even if it's a hater, y'all, I always will imp take the information and kind of spit out what I think is essentially the truth. And there was some truth in that. So I had to reassess. This relieves stress and it helps to cope with change. Last year was the beginning of a real change for me. Now, I will say the change began in 2017, but last year it intensified and I really had to push through the portal to get through. This helps you let go of anger and tension it's comforting optimistic it's joyful in its vibration it helps you to express yourself clearly this stone is perfect for all empaths orators actors singers 333 here guys so you're going to be able to really connect with the stone if you need to express it enhances communication essential and and especially excuse me spirituality it helps to identify and solve daily problems so here's how i've used the stone during the morning if i'm doing automatic writing i will take the stone out and i will put it next to what i'm doing so that way i will ask a question and i suggest that you guys do that ask a question of your crystals ask a question of your angels ask questions of your ancestors and expect an answer guys when i write it down i always get an answer this helps you to uh deepen your inner awareness during meditation it encourages inspiration and receptivity to divine guidance to awaken your psychic knowing and vision it assists with being more compassionate to others it is helpful for psychic work for tarot or intuitive readings heals your inner child past life experiences past wounds or difficult situations chiron the wounded healer is an aspect that we have been working with a lot this year y'all do yourself a favor and get this palm stone as you work out some fa past familial pathologies and how it's showing up in your relationship been a huge theme of as i've been working with my clients been a huge theme as i've been working in my own life and friend groups okay it this assists you also 
uh, regarding your, like I said, past child, but it's associated with the water element clearly with this gorgeous blue. Okay. And it's all aragonite, excuse me, is known as the builder stone for creating something new out of something old. This is excellent for wood and stone workers, artists, and painters. It activates the third eye. Okay. So right here, this third eye activation, and this is something that you can find me doing in my home. I'm that person. It activates your throat chakra. I'm that person as well. And it activates your heart chakra. I'm that girl. Okay. So pick up some aragonite and it is an gorgeous blue and I will tell you when I'm in readings I find myself gravitating to it I don't know why it's one of my favorites but I think it's because it does help especially with intuitives and empaths so if you're a reader and you're watching this this stone might be the stone for you aragonite we're now crystal clear come back next time guys join me and we're going to continue to evolve together